Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Lin with the Bunky Clinic in San Francisco, and today I'm going to go over four quick, easy hand exercises that you can do while waiting for your first hand therapy appointment. Not everyone is a candidate for early motion, so double check with your surgeon. And also, these are not a replacement for hand therapy. Uh, for optimal results, definitely see your hand therapist as prescribed, but these are exercises you can do at home while waiting for that first appointment, which sometimes can take a few weeks. I like to break down these exercises into four basic motions. The first is to just fully extend your fingers and try to get them as flat as a table. You may need to use your other hand to help straighten out your fingers. Um, the second is what we refer to as a, as a cat claw, where essentially you're trying to maximally flex your PIP joints and your DIP joints as much as possible. And again, you may need to use your other hand to squeeze and push them in order to achieve that. Um, third is what we refer to as the tabletop or windshield wipers. And here you're trying to flex your MCP joints as much as possible while straightening your PIP joints and your DIP joints here. The fourth exercise is to combine the last two exercises into a full composite fist. And in this exercise, you're trying to reach your fingertips to the crease that you have in your palm called the distal palmar crease. And so you're trying to flex everything as much as possible, ideally reaching 90 degrees at your MCP joint and your PIP joints and as much as possible at your DIP joints. Uh, people always ask how much they should be doing these exercises. I recommend at bare minimum once per hour, but for better results, uh, you should do these as much as possible. And it's important to remember that you may need to press and hold each position for several minutes at a time. If your fingers are particularly swollen or stiff, you may end up needing to hold these for 20 or 30 minutes at a time. So you may want to put on your favorite show or read a book and just sit there and just hold your fingers. And it's almost uh, a certainty that you'll have better range of motion if you press and hold. Also definitely need to keep in mind, no pain, no gain. If your fingers don't hurt when you're stretching, that means you're not stretching the joints and you're not making any progress. So therapy does need to hurt to some degree, but it should not be excruciating. Uh, so if you're able to do these four basic poses, the uh, finger extension, cat claw, tabletop, and the combined composite fist, then you'll have a quicker recovery and better overall results after your injury or surgery. As always, contact your surgeon if you're unsure whether these are the right exercises for you to perform before being seen by your hand therapist.